Hello and welcome to the fresh episode of Tech Quantum. In this video, we are going to see the types of tables in Dataverse, a short demo on how you can create a custom table and also how you can enable attachments for that table. At the end, we will also look into the licensing requirements for each types of table. So keep watching and stay tuned. So in Dataverse, a table is a logical structure that stores record in form of rows and columns. Now there are four types of tables in Dataverse. Let's have a look. Now first is the standard tables. Now standard tables are the base set of tables that are created for every instance of Dataverse database. So you can add more columns uh, to any tables, but you cannot delete any columns from a standard premium or a restricted table. The next is uh, the complex tables. Now, complex tables uh, are the tables that contain complex uh, server-side business logic, uh, which also includes real-time workflows or plugins. Now, to use complex tables, uh, users are required to have a P2 or a Dynamics 365 license. Now, care must be taken if you add server-side logic to ensure that users have proper licenses to use the complex tables. If you want additional information, I have provided the resource link in the description so you can follow that as well. The next is the restricted tables. Now, certain tables that are tied to Dynamics 365 application functionalities uh, like require each users to have corresponding license for that Dynamics 365 applications if they want to create update or delete rows within a restricted table. So again, I will provide some resource in the description. You can have a look at that if you want some more information. The next is the custom tables. Now custom tables are created for a specific business application. Now all licensed users of Dataverse can access custom tables if they are assigned proper security permissions to do so. Now let's have a look on how you can create a custom table. Now here you can see that I'm on my Dynamics 365 sales hub. Now, what I can do is I can go to my advanced settings and use the classic environment to create new tables. But in this case, I'm going to use the Power Apps environment, okay? So let's go to a new tab and log into make.powerapps.com. And once you sign in with your credentials, first make sure that you are in the right environment. So since this is a demo environment, I'll just choose the right environment over here which is this. And then on your left-hand side on the main menu, you can either go to your solutions and create tables within the solution, or you can click on the data over here and click on tables. So over here, you can see a list of tables. What we need to do is click on new table, and then we will get a quick create form where we can create the table. So let's go over here and, and give a display name. This is the name by which the table will be displayed to the end user. So let's just say it's PC manufacturers. Now, as you can see, the plural display name is automatically populated, right? Now the plural uh, display name is the name of the table in the Dataverse web API and is used when you are interacting with this table from um, Power Apps or Power Automate, okay? Now the name over here, again, it has been automatically populated and this is the schema name of that table. Now you can also see that there is a default prefix. Now this prefix was set up when the environment was created and ensures that, you know, the tables that you create can be exported and imported into other environments without conflicting with other table names. So you can always change this prefix by updating the prefix on your publisher. So you can specify the display name of, uh, you know, the primary field and also the schema name for that particular primary field. Now, you may want to allow users the ability to upload files and save with a row in, you know, in a table. So a database tables allow the users to add an attachment by turning on the attachment property, which is this over here, which says enable attachments, including notes and files. So if you select this, you will be able to enable attachments for that particular table. Now, once you select this option and save it, you will not be able to uh, undo this selection and attachments for that particular table will be enabled always. So you can select this and click on create. It will ask for confirmation and then you can click on okay. Now you can see that, you know, the PC manufacturers table has been provisioned successfully. So the table is created and a set of standard fields has been displayed over here. 
including the primary name column, which is called as name. Now within this table, you can use the add column to add more fields, but we are going to discuss this topic in our next video in much more detail. So for now, this is how you create a custom table. Now complex and restricted tables require additional licensing requirements. So the following table summarizes the license requirements for each type of table. If you want, you can pause the video over here and go through it, or I'll provide a link in the description below, which will give you a detailed information. So I hope with this video, you have got a good overview of what are the different types of tables in Dataverse, how you can create a custom table and what are the licensing requirements. We'll be back with our next video. So keep watching and stay tuned and please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye for now.